Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and for today's tutorial, we will be making earrings using neon or bright colors. We all know that there's been a shortage of clay, so when I saw this sampler pack of Primo accents, I grabbed it even though I knew that it would be difficult to find a use for the neon colors. It's a good thing that one of my favorite YouTubers, Laureen Uy, loves neons and so I derived inspiration from her looks to make these studs and earrings. For this stud tutorial specifically, my main colors are Sculpey Primo Accents in fluorescent pink, yellow, and peacock pearl. I'm also using a silicone mold of a small gem and these earring posts that have an extended peg and a clay blade. To have an organized table, I am first conditioning all the colors that I will be working with. I always condition my clay using a clay roller, but honestly, these fluorescent colors were pretty soft, so if you don't have one, manually conditioning your clay will work just fine. My game plan is to combine the brights with something either pastel or go very dark like black for contrast. For the Peacock Pearl, I am using Coral Pink as my combination. I make the stud by pressing the clay on the silicone mold and scraping off the excess with the clay blade, very much like how you would do a satin slice. Then, using my blade, I cut around the gem shape, leaving just a tiny bit so that you can see an outline. After cutting around, I then push in the earring post, making sure that the extended peg is embedded in the clay. This makes my studs more secure, so if you happen to find these kinds of posts, do get them. I do the same for the rest, pairing my fluorescent yellow with black for a stark contrast.
And then finally, pairing my blue-green clay with my fluorescent pink. These will all then go to the oven for baking. Next, I want to do some abstract stabs. I condition and roll out all my colors first. So for the first combination, I want to do a painterly or watercolor slab. And so I roll out my fluorescent into the number 4 setting while I roll out the black slab into the number 3 setting. I place the yellow on top of the black and then pass it through the roller in the number 3 setting again. And then, I tear this into bits to cover the black slab. Once the slab is completely filled, I rolled it out again into the number 3 setting. I fold it in so the design is front and back. Then, I get my cutters and remove the excess clay. I basically do the same style for the next pairs of earrings, but this time I use use of blue, blue-green, and white as my accent. I tear out the pieces and cover my entire white slab with these alternating colors.
I pass it through the roller, carefully folding it in so that the design runs from the front to the back. And then I get my cutters and punch out my shapes. And for the final pair, I decided I'll just do a simple stripe design by rolling out both colors into the number 3 setting, placing them on top of each other and just cutting through them very thinly. I then place these stripes on the slab and carefully roll them out following the direction of the stripes. Personally, I really loved how these turned out and I can't wait to use them for a summer trip to the beach. Maybe soon. I hope that you enjoyed this short tutorial on making earrings. If you happen to like what you've watched, I hope that you consider subscribing to the Craft Time Studio for more clay and craft tutorials. See you next weekend and if you're curious to know what projects I'm up to, you can check my IG out at crafttimestudios.ph. Thanks and bye! What?